my YouTube friends. If you've been streaming for a while, there's a good chance your OBS looks like this. How can you find anything in this stream? The truth is, I can't. But today, I'm going to show you a couple of free plugins that are going to allow us to simplify and organize everything so it can look like this. I also have a plugin that will make one monitor streaming a whole lot easier and cleaner. So you know what? Let's get to it! The first plugin is a gift from the organizational gods. It's called the Scene Tree Folder plugin. Let me show you how to install it. It's totally free and there is a link in the description down below so you can get it and check it out for yourself. So here's the plugin. You can read a little bit about it if you want. We're just going to go to the go to download right here and we can scroll down here and you see that we have a zip file and we have some source code and that sort of stuff. We're just going to go ahead and grab the zip file and we're just going to go to our downloads folder and I'm going to right click and I'm going to extract the files. Click OK. And we've got our OBS plugins and our data. So this is pretty simple to install. All we want to do is go ahead and right click on here and copy these. Then we want to go find where our OBS is installed. Yours is probably going to be in C program files, OBS dash studio. Mine is not. I actually have mine on its own drive. So we're just going to go right here. And we're going to find my OBS install, which is this right here, OBS-Studio. And, and we'll scroll down and you can see data is here and OBS plugins is here. So I'm just going to right click anywhere and click paste. And it's just going to write that stuff in there. So now when we open OBS, we're going to have this. Now let me show you how you can transform messy streams into easy to manage organized streams. All right, so now let me show you how this works. This is my live stream. It's actually an older version, but that's fine. We've got a lot of scenes in here, a lot of scenes. And this would be so much easier if they were organized. Well, now it's easy. We're going to go up to docs and we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab our scene tree doc. And yours is going to appear like this. It'll be popped out and you just have to place it somewhere. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it over here so we can see it pretty easy. And I'm just going to grab the scenes and we're going to drop it right on top. So you can see we've got these two tabs down at the bottom. We've got our scenes, which is everything. And we've got our scene tree, which gives us the ability to organize these. Immediately you're going to see we've got these wheel of blame things in here. And those are all in one category. Then we've got all of the Monica cams in here and we've got our donations and super chats in here so what we can do is click the folder here and it adds a folder so we're going to right click on this folder and we can get some folder icons we can toggle the folder icon on and off all that kind of stuff we can double click on here to name it so let's call this monica cam and so what we're going to do is just take these and we're going to drag them into the monica cam folder and we can just click on the arrow over here on the side to see them all. So we've got a lot cleaned up already. Let's take these wheel of blames and we'll put them somewhere. So we're going to add another folder and you can see it added that folder in here. We don't want that. We're going to drag this out. I'm going to double click it and we're just going to call this W O B for wheel of blame. And then what I'm going to do is just drag these in there. And there we go. So now we've got, two folders that really clean up what we're doing. Now I've got all of our nested scenes down here, which are used to set up different pieces of the stream and all that sort of stuff. So I could put these in there. None of these nested scenes are ever going to be scenes that we would physically click on anyways in a live stream. So what I can do is create a folder and we can just double click it and call this nested. And then I can just drag my nested scenes into here. And so now we have basically the scenes that I would be possibly clicking on. We actually have a little more that we can clean up here. So I'm going to click the folder and of course it put it in here because I had it selected. So I'm going to drag it out. I'm just going to call this one alerts and we're going to put our alert stuff in here as well. So we've got our super chat and our smids. Close 
We got our donation and our subscriber and then we have our member as well so now we've got all of our alerts in one place really we just have the ones that we would click on so we could theoretically organize all of our intro stuff in here if we wanted to but none of that's really necessary what we have here is going to be more than enough to be able to basically organize everything and see it the way it's supposed to be and we've gone from an absolute mess that was nearly impossible to decipher to just having the scenes that we might be switching to throughout the process of our live stream. Makes it really, really easy. And I'm sure that if you have a complicated live stream, you're going to absolutely love this tool to organize everything. Now, the second plugin is going to make life as a single monitor streamer much easier. But first, I work really hard to try to create content I think you're going to enjoy. Sometimes I hit and sometimes I miss, but it's really hard to know for sure. And that's where you can really help me out. If you're enjoying this video, do me a favor and leave it a thumbs up. And if it's not your cup of tea, that's perfectly fine to give it a thumbs down. Now, if every single person watching this video right now gives it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, I'm definitely going to know if this is the kind of content that you want to see. So thumbs up or thumbs down right now. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the video. This plugin is called the Window Dock, and unfortunately, it's only available for folks running Windows. It allows you to dock any window on your PC right in OBS. Let me show you how to install it. Once again, it's totally free, and there are links down below in the description. Here is the Window Dock page pretty simple you can learn more about it down here if you want to check it out we're just going to go to our download section it automatically downloads it for us um, and you should know that this only is supported in windows which you know it sucks but it is what it is so then we can go down here and we're going to go into our downloads and we've got our windows dock right here so just right click and extract files and okay and there we go, Windows Dock. And same thing, data in OBS plugins. So we're gonna right click and we're going to copy that. We're just going to go to our OBS folder. So it does help to remember where you installed your OBS, but the folder is going to be OBS-Studio, just like you see right here. I'm gonna double click there and I can see in here, we've got OBS plugins and data, same two folders. I'm just gonna right click and paste. And now our plugin is installed, so all we have to do is restart OBS if it's currently open. Now I'm going to show you how this works in OBS to add any application to your OBS UI. So here we are back in OBS, and to use the custom window docs, all we have to do is go to Tools, and then Custom Window Docs. So now we can name the dock whatever we want. So let's say that we stream on one monitor. And we want to pack as much in here as we can. So we play music or something during our stream. We can load Spotify in here. And then we can select the window. We can just drop it down. Select Spotify. And there we go. And maybe we want to add Discord as well. So we can drop this down and select Discord. And now it's going to create docs for both of these things. So now it creates that dock when we apply it. All we have to do is go over here into docs. And I can click Spotify and it brings it up over here. And there we go. I got to make sure I have Spotify opened. And we can do the same with Discord by going to Docs and going to Discord. And it brings it up right here. And we can just place it wherever we want. And so now we have these in here. We go like this. We can place it down here. We can actually place it like that. And there we go can bring it out and we can actually place it down here so we can scroll like this there are a lot of different ways we can do this but the point is that we have access to more windows that we can manipulate we can move our source tree down here and our scenes down here which will free up more space as well so we can have these spread out we can embiggen this you can do this with pretty much any window so if we go into tools and we go into our custom window docs we can go ahead and pick Chrome and we can drop this down and select Windows. This might make it easy to start 
or stop any kind of video that we have imported into our system. So let's say we're watching something on YouTube or something like that that we put in our stream that we react to. Well, I can drop this docs down right here and I can go to Chrome and it'll bring my Chrome browser in here. And so now if I have YouTube videos, I can literally start and stop them right here and they'll play on the screen because we obviously have them captured on screen as well in some way. So this is a really great way to organize, especially if you're using one monitor, all kinds of third party applications or whatever you want to use in your stream. Make it really easy to control all right from OBS so you don't have to be constantly flipping back and forth through a bunch of different windows. Two awesome plugins that can help organize your streams to make them easier to manage. It doesn't get any better than that. How many scenes do you have in your stream making your life difficult? Let me know down in the comments. And if you want to see some other awesome free plugins that I never stream without, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.